Hey there, I'm Aaron Morin, lead educator here at Thinkific, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Thinkific to grow your business through online education, just like thousands of experts, entrepreneurs, authors, speakers, trainers, coaches, nonprofits, technology companies, and educators already do. Woo! With Thinkific, you can build your own website where you can create, market, and deliver online courses to your customers. Let's look at an example. Now, before we begin, keep in mind that you can speed up this video or slow it down and skip around on the play bar below. All right, let's get started. This is your Thinkific website's home page where visitors can get to know you, your business, and your course offerings. Now, this is a course landing page or a sales page or whatever you want to call it. Leads will learn about your course and decide whether or not they want to enroll here. And always keep in mind as we go that you can design pages on your Thinkific website any way you need to. You have total control here. All right, when a lead is ready to purchase, they'll sign up for a student account on your Thinkific website. This account keeps track of their personal information and their progress in any product they enroll in. Once they have an account, they'll typically pay at a checkout right on your own Thinkific website, but you can redirect to external checkouts if you need. After payment is processed, the new student will see a thank you page. This page exists to allow for upsells and tracking conversion rates. Now this student is enrolled in this course and can start accessing its content in a secured course player. In the course player, Students can watch, read, listen, and interact with your lessons. Selecting the Next button confirms a student has completed the lesson. In the Achievements and Progress tab, your students can view where they're at and when they started the course. Optionally, you can include a discussion forum in each of your courses, where students can talk about the course content or ask questions. And students can leave reviews that you can add to your landing page. Now we know the overhead of supporting your customers can get a little crazy. So we decided to make Thinkific as self-serve as possible to save you and your students time. Students can track their own progress and get back to the lessons easily from their student dashboard. And they can change their profile details like their password, access any certifications they've earned, manage their credit card info, and see their past orders to get receipts all on their own. Pretty great, right? All right, let's take a look at the back end of a Thinkific website. Look at all that demo money. As you can see, Thinkific keeps track of your course website's vitals for you right in your site admin dashboard. Okay, let's start making some magic here. We're going to create an online course by heading to Courses. We can see those existing products you saw on my example site's homepage here. I could jump in and edit those, but I'll make a new course by clicking here. You can choose from several course templates designed to take some of the guesswork out of curriculum development. I'm going to use blank for now though. Now let's name this course something really original. Don't worry, you can change anything after creating, saving, or publishing in Thinkific because, you know, we all make mistakes and bad jokes, right? You'll notice we've entered a different part of the Thinkific backend here. This is the course builder, and you can use it to design and develop your online courses before publishing them. We're in the Curriculum tab right now, but we'll come back here later. For now, to make things quick and easy for myself, I'm going to bulk import my course content that's already ready to go. Let's see here. Where did I put it all? Ah, I've got a video, PDF, and an audio file. And just like that, Thinkific has processed these files into lessons for chapter one of my online course. Let's add another chapter and drop in more content. Each of these chapters contain as many lessons as you need and you can change and reorder your lessons or chapters by dragging and dropping them. Piece of cake. Let's head back to the curriculum tab. You can see that when I click on one of my lessons, I have some more options for the lesson. I can make this lesson a part of a free trial for my course, I'm publishing it by sending it to draft, or make it downloadable or autoplay in the course player. And as you can see, video, PDF, and audio lessons aren't the only ways to teach. Let's add a pop quiz to help reinforce my students' learning. I'll write out a question here, add some answers, and change my question type. Great. Now, I could add many more questions, but that should do for now. I could also make this quiz graded. Or if I had a bunch of questions, only have the quiz show a few questions from a question bank each time it loads, so each assessment is unique. Now that we have a full curriculum, let's configure some options. With Thinkific, you have complete control over your online courses. That includes if your course is visible to new visitors to your Thinkific website, 
or if you only want to enroll certain students in your course. As well, you can offer automatically expiring or perpetual certificates of completion for any of your courses, which is a huge completion rate booster. Now, when a student enrolls in my course, they'll get access to all of the content at once. I don't want to overwhelm them with that much content, so what I'm going to do is add a drip schedule. I can drip out content over time starting from the student's enrollment date or a specific date. This means I could deliver my first chapter right away and then deliver the second chapter a week later. Finally, let's give this course a price and publish it. You can always leave your courses to be free, which is a great way to help you build your email list, by the way. But when you integrate with a supported payment processor like Stripe or PayPal, you can price your course a number of different ways. First, one-time fees can be set to charge your students once for the course. You can optionally limit the enrollment period as well. I'll price this course at $100 for three months of access, for example. Now I could also set a subscription price for recurring charges for continued access to the course contents. With these prices, canceling payments restricts access to lessons. Or I could set up a payment plan, which is like a subscription price, but it will stop charging my customer after a specific number of payments and keep their enrollment in the course active. And I can even have all three payment methods for my course available at once and all displayed on my landing page. Nothing to it. And speaking of landing pages, let's work on that next. We are now editing a page on this Thinkific website. We're in something called the Site Builder, where we, you know, build our site. Site Builder is pretty amazing, so bear with me a little while I show you around. I'm editing this course's landing page, but if I wanted to edit other course landing pages, I just need to back up here to find them. Moving back once more, I can see our home page and find any other pages, including custom pages, that this website has and edit them. You can stay on brand by editing your theme settings, choosing different style presets, editing colors, and fonts for your whole website. Now you might be wondering what a theme is at this point, and that's totally understandable but I can't tell you because it's a secret. Okay, fine, I'll tell you. If you exit the Site Builder, you're taken to the Theme Library, where you can get back to Site Builder or explore other Thinkific themes. All right, back to the course landing page, the sales page that will convince leads to buy and enroll in my online course. Your header and footer stays the same across all your pages but you can make everything in between unique to the page. These sections here make up the content on this page. We can easily rearrange them by dragging and dropping, adding a new section here, and edit them by clicking into the section. When you make an edit, the preview window here will update to show you the results. Changes to any page in Site Builder are only live on your website when you save them. And because this is a course landing page, this page won't be accessible to website visitors until I publish my course. So let's go do that. I'll head back to the Course Builder and then move to the Publish tab to publish my course. I'll preview my site. Et voila, there's my new course listed beside my other published products. Naturally, we want to sell our new course now. So let's look at some of the best features in Thinkific that will help you do that. First, we have a few courses already here, so we can start to offer a package deal called a course bundle. Bundles are a great way to enroll a student in multiple courses from one transaction. Bundles get their own landing pages, course cards, and checkouts, just like courses do. You can use them to turn your a la carte offerings into a membership site, for example. As well, temporary promotional pricing is a great way to sell more courses, especially when you're launching your new Think of It course site. Coupons allow you to set up codes that buyers can use at the checkout to get a sale price or a special deal, like the first month half off for my membership bundle, for example. Now, we're not always looking for new customers. We want to upsell to our existing customers or re-engage lost prospects as well. From the users page, you can segment your students to find opportunities for promotional outreach. 
For example, if I filter my students to show me all of my free trial leads that haven't purchased yet, I can then send them an email right from my Thinkific website with some targeted messaging and a coupon code to help change their minds about buying my course. You can apply all kinds of filters to the table in order to gather other insights from your users as well. Then you can bookmark them for later use. And students aren't the only user types in Thinkific. You can create new users for each member of your team. Course admins help you manage your course without getting into all of your site settings, for example. And if you're sharing revenue with other instructors, you can create product payees to share a percentage of the revenue from individual courses they've contributed to. You can even run your own affiliate network right from your Thinkific website. Encourage referrals for your courses from partners and your students by sharing a percentage or a flat amount of revenue for each resulting sale. Now, we know you need total control over your course site if it's going to be crucial for your online business. So we've made some powerful features to make your Thinkific website your own. For example, you can add your logo, link to your existing website in your site header, and white label your Thinkific website to keep branding consistent and comprehensive. On top of that, you can add your own custom domain to serve your Thinkific course site from an existing website or use it as your main web property. Your video content uploaded to Thinkific can also be branded. In the video library, you can easily brand the video player, add captions and custom thumbnails, and gather insights from video viewing to help you make better content in the future. And on top of all of that, we integrate directly with industry-leading marketing analytics and e-commerce services so you don't have to ditch the tools you already love. Don't worry. That excitement you're feeling right now, that's totally normal. This is a lot to take in, I get it. But there's even more to a Thinkific website than I've shown you here. So if you want to explore everything I've shown you and more, go ahead and click below. I'll see you on the other side.